coal-rich Poland has the most polluted air in the European Union. Every single person in San Diego knows someone who basically died because of, of the pollution. Yet many are reluctant to depart from the tradition and security of its pits. Jako panie z rentowna idzie wydobycie, no to dlaczego to mamy zamykać? At the same time, a new generation of climate activists are fighting to consign fossil fuels to history. Our government has been one of the most strongly blocking all of the climate policies, plans and ideas in the whole of Europe. But with the decline of coal seen as vital to our hopes of avoiding the worst of the impending climate crisis, what happens in Poland has implications far beyond the country's borders. These two coal mines are the last two slated to be open in the whole of Europe. As a visual metaphor for the scale of the problem, you've got a mountain in front of you. Everything off. I need to eat more dumplings. I'm at the Ankovitsa coal mine in the industrial Silesian city of Rybnik. One of the two mines not scheduled to close until 2049. Easy to get lost. Before my visit, I had heard that high levels of methane emitted at the mine might force its closure much sooner. But 700 metres underground, the prevailing mood is one of defiance. What happens when these mines do close? What will you do? Nie myślę o tym i tyle ludzi, których tu moje pracuje na całym Śląsku, żeby wszystko zamknąć, tyle by nie widzę tego. Yeah, yeah, okay. Get out of the way. The return of this trainload of miners from the coalface some four kilometers away heralds the changing of the shift. How long will they, these men have been down in the mine? Pracowali w skróconym czasie pracy, więc oni byli na 6 godzin. Six hours? There's a lot of men working down here. Will they all find jobs after the coal mines close? Będą powstawały nowe miejsca pracy, a zamykanie kopań też nie będzie nagle, że nie stanie się, tylko będzie to proces. Although the miners here continue to extract around 2 million tons of coal every year, other miners in Silesia have already experienced the hard reality of this shutdown process. I'm on my way to Zabja, to the north of Rybnik, where the Makashova mine has already been closed and is in the process of being decommissioned. I'm going to meet trade union leader Andrzej Farlisz, who has a bit of a fight on his hands. The problem polega na tym, że moją kopalnię, którą będziemy mieli okazję zobaczyć, likwidowano 6 lat i nie stworzono tam ani jednego nowego miejsca pracy. No, witam cię na kopalni. Na mojej byłej kopalni. W 1988 roku tu stałem na krześle i robiłem mój pierwszy strajk na tej kopalni. <laughs> Dzisiaj, jak sam widzisz, echo pokolenia ludzi, którzy pracowali na tej, na tej kopalni. Zostali potraktowani najgorzej, jak można sobie tylko wyobrazić. To nie było człowieczeństwo. It must have been incredibly difficult for you personally to have watched over the years this thriving mine slowly become what we see today. Rozmawiamy ze sobą przede wszystkim dlatego, żeby ta historia nie powtórzyła się w żadnej innej kopalni, gdzie rząd nie widzi człowieka, tylko widzi interesy. Teraz dajcie nam tu chwilę. Dajcie nam tu chwilę. This is my office. Ah, this is your office. What is the most important thing that you are looking for here? Potrzebna nam jest szeroka dyskusja, ale musi to być na warunkach partnerstwa, a nie na zasadzie, że siłą będą nam zrobią to, co zrobili na kopalni Makoszowy. Andrzej shows me his ceremonial uniform, a source of great pride in spite of all that has happened. Looking good. And just in time to welcome oh. today's real guests. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Here in Zabja, an unlikely alliance has formed between Andrei's trade unionists and these Fridays for Future climate activists. You've met Andrew before. I was so scared of Andrew. I'm going to finish on that. <laughs> but on paper, you are enemies, right? They are being shown to us by the government as those who are just opposing any change. And like nothing can happen here mm. in Poland because the miners will just go crazy. Właśnie z tymi młodymi ludźmi zrozumiałem, że oni nas nie chcą nas zniszczyć. Oni chcą nam pomóc. Tylko my i nie potrafimy się otworzyć, żeby na ten temat rozmawiać. The miners and the activists have united over a concept known as the just transition, which aims to create a sustainable green economy whilst also protecting workers and livelihoods. These people who have to say goodbye to the way they worked for years. We really need to, to listen to them and talk to each other and like find out what can we do yeah. to finally like achieve the just transition. Fantastic. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've all learned something today. Yeah, all right, let's go. Okay, okay, we've got to go. Andre is taking us into Lower Silesia to a region where the closure of the mines a few decades ago have caused a lot of problems for the local people. Więc i ten herb to jest ponad 500 lat górnictwa w tym rejonie. I oni zgłosili, żeby to zlikwidować, a w to miejsce tu będzie teren turystyczny, będzie miodem i mlekiem płynął ten teren. Tak się nie stało. A to jest bardzo ciekawe, panie Edku, bo jak my byliśmy właśnie z Wiktorią, premierem Buskiem, to on nam mówił, że już mamy przykłady sprawiedliwej transformacji w Polsce, w okolicach Wałbrzycha, gdzie 100 tysięcy ludzi wyprowadzono w krótkim czasie z sektora i no, poradzono sobie z węglem. Poradzono sobie ja się... z węglem, tylko z ludźmi sobie nie poradzono. Zaczęli kombinować, uciekać, żeby nie płacić kosztów. What's your role here, do you think? Mm. Our role is to inform the people about First of all, the crises, and then to mobilize people for the solutions. And we have to figure out how to phase out coal and pollen. I want to understand what mistakes we must not do. Does this feel like a kind of fight back against the kind of divide and rule uh, approach to governance? Mm. The first time that we met with Andrzej in Makoszowy, I remember we posted like on social media that, you know, we are here, we're talking. And then we put it out and people were like, what? <laughs> That's insane. Are you insane. That's when it's so powerful when we like really believe in that justice has to kind of like serve us all. During their visit to this region, Victoria and Dominica are meeting miners, activists and politicians alike, building contacts and knowledge, and of course, sharing their experiences through social media. We are like in this moment of real transition right now mm -hmm. in building the new. Mm -hmm. And this new system can be amazing, but it doesn't require only young people to, to build that. We need all of these people on board. Świat idzie do przodu. Młodzi ludzie już dzisiaj inaczej patrzą na te wszystkie problemy, więc to wszystko się zmienia. I czy, i czy ta kultura śląska, czy ta kultura górnicza e, e, powinna trwać chyba w pamięci. <laughs> Despite the state-owned mines resisting further closures, houses that once relied entirely on coal for heating are now being reprimanded for contributing to some of the highest levels of air pollution in the EU. Nie to smuci generalnie, dlatego że takie obawy, że będziemy takim europejskim skansenem węgla. Back in Rybnik, Deputy Mayor Piotr Maslowski hopes this approach offers an example of the just transition in action. Rybnik ma 130 kilka tysięcy mieszkańców i aż 19 tysięcy domów jednorodzinnych. I to jest 19 tysięcy potencjalnych trucicieli. We're following the municipal guard on an eco patrol where they drive around and look out for signs of things being burnt that shouldn't be in households. Bo to przeważnie też przez dym, nie? Mhm. Bo to nie musi być akurat z tej posesji dym. Bo widzę wkład jest kominowy. I się dym, widzisz? Żerzy się. Dzień dobry, Straż Miejska, kontrola źródła ogrzewania. Przejść z drugiej strony, mam już w pusty, bo tu jest piesek. Nie, nie, nie chcę. Myślę, że to jest nie. Miasto oferuje incentives, żeby zachęcać residentów, żeby zmienić się od ich kół burners, z tymi starszymi, mniej szkodliwymi smokami już zbędnymi. 
Oh yeah, look. Here in Ribnik, there is a big movement to get rid of this type of burner and move to cleaner sources of energy. No, I just, I just one day I'm going to burn it because I can burn it. A potem będę musiał wybrać albo na gaz, albo pompę ciepła. Nie, tu wszyscy dookoła pozakładali gazowe ogrzewanie. No, ja zostałem sam teraz. But Poland's legacy of coal isn't confined underground. What is this place? To miejsce to jest miejsce, gdzie kopalnia wysypuje kamień z tak zwanego urobku. At this slag site, once a fishing pond, a local scavenger searches for treasure amongst the refuse. Dzień dobry. What's this? To jest czysto bryła węgla. Akurat się zdarzyło taka bryłka jest. Lżejszy nawet węgiel jak na kopalni. Bo to jest taki jakby to świeżyzna, tak ona to mówi. Mm. Ale tak tego nie ma, żeby to tak było cały czas. Mm. To tego to nie jest. Why do you feel it is that people like yourself have to come down here to get your heating source? <laughs> Najlepiej by było w ogóle tu nie przyjeżdżać. No bo widzicie jak wygląda. Jest błoto, jest. Niekiedy jest zimno, deszcz padze. Opał zawsze był i było bez problemu, a teraz od pewnego czasu się skończyło. Ale żeby był w takiej cenie, żeby go szło można było kupić. With energy costs driven skyward by the war in Ukraine, this revolution away from coal, once seen as vital to Poland's independence from Soviet influence is at risk of stalling before it has even begun. You must feel some responsibility to try and improve the lot for people like this. No, I do not know his situation. I'm not sure we can offer them uh, new jobs. Generally, I try to focus on the kids. I know that it sounds terrible mm. that I decide to leave maybe 5% of the population behind. Mm -hmm. But if you want to achieve a goal, we have to invest in the future but many local residents are miners, and as such still receive perks like free coal to heat their homes. You are surrounded by a strong mining industry and a lot of union members who have no incentive to leave coal behind. You see, generally you are surprised, but I am happy. All the indicators show that the air quality in Rybnik has improved. Today, the majority of the residents are for this change. To nikt to nie wierzył, że my możemy w Rybniku tak szybko tej zmiany dokonać. Poland remains well behind the rest of Europe in transitioning away from coal, with little cause for optimism ahead of elections later this year. But places like Rybnik, with more progressive local leaders, are showing it is possible to address the damage the coal industry has caused. And as miners and activists continue to push collectively for change, there is a growing recognition that when it comes to the climate crisis, we really are all in it together.